guys, it's Alyssa in the kitchen, and today we are satisfying our sweet tooths. Today I have for you chocolate chip peanut butter bars. We're gonna sweeten those with honey and maple syrup, making this completely refined sugar free. Hallelujah for those natural sugars. I have another secret ingredient though. In place of flour, today we are going to use bubble chick peas. Now, before you're like, what, what, I don't know about that, let me tell you. These are gonna pack this treat with protein and fiber, making it super nutritious. The chickpeas are replacing the flour, which makes this treat completely gluten-free. Let's do it. All you need to do to make this super easy recipe is blend all of your ingredients together in a food processor or a blender. First up, I'm adding half a cup of peanut butter. As always, I tell everybody, you only need one ingredient in your peanut butter. Peanuts. Next, we're adding our chickpeas. If you are still skeptical, which I'm sure you are, trust me, you're not even gonna taste that these are there. Next up, a quarter cup of sweetener. So if you use all maple syrup, that's fine. You can use all honey. I did two tablespoons of each. Alrighty, so there goes our maple syrup. In goes our honey. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. A quarter teaspoon of baking powder. And a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. We need those so that they still rise when they bake in the oven. Now we're ready to blend this up. Go ahead and blend this until your batter gets smooth. You wanna get all the chunks out. Okay, let's check it out. Oh yeah, so it's gonna be really nice and thick. It should look just about like this. Add in a half a teaspoon of salt. You can blend this in also, but I'm just gonna stir it in after. Next, you're gonna need an eight by eight baking dish. I'm gonna spray that with some coconut oil spray. And then we're gonna pour our peanut butter batter into the pan. Alrighty, we've got our batter all spread out in our eight by eight pan, and the oven is preheated to 350 degrees, and we have one final step. The best part, the chocolate. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle these on top. Be as generous as you please. This is totally up to you. Don't measure, just go for it. Lastly, I love salty sweet plays in my desserts and my sweet treats. So I'm gonna top this with just a little sprinkle of some flaky sea salt. Oh yeah, look at those chunks of salt. All right, this guy's going in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. So I checked my bars after about 18 minutes in the oven and they were moist in the center and just about finished. So be sure to check your timers, check early. These might be done a little quicker depending on your oven temperature. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm going to slice these into 16 squares. Oh my gosh, don't these look amazing, all right. Let's dig in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this tastes so good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they are soft and gooey in the middle. And the peanut butter is so rich. And that little sprinkle of salt, the salty sweet, oh my God. This captures my heart. Holy crap. Now you know how easy it is to make something so super delicious and nutritious. So try this one out and let me know what you think. Can't wait to see you in the kitchen. I feel like I've had a shot. Yeah. 
I think I just ate yeah, food. Just ate I, yeah, I like have energy now. <laughs> there she goes, there she... I think I blew the fuse. 